welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. In this video, we're doing something pretty exciting. Uh, we will be revamping one of the vintage dresses that I got in my last video. Um, so I picked this one, the one that I labeled as a mermaid gown. Um, first of all, we're going to take this off. Uh, maybe take off the puppy sleeves, even though I love them so much. We are going to just start stitch ripping. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, we have all the pieces detached from themselves. We have the maxi dress looking piece. Just the main bodice piece. And then we have this beautiful uh, silk bottom, what was layered on the bottom. And we have the puppy sleeves. So we are just going to, my thought process is take this, we're going to chop it off a little bit uh, shorter, and then we're going to make it a high-low dress. I got some cute fabric from the thrift store when I went. Uh, I got 10 yards of it, and I could say that I paid maybe $3 for it. These were $5 no matter what. They were on the $5 rack. So, that is my plan. Let's start cutting. So, most of my designs are just cut and sew. So, we're just going to think about it and cut a little bit. <laughs> so my thought process is this is the front of the dress. We're going to fold it from the front to the zipper and fold it this way. We're going to lay it down that way. Trying to match up the seams, make sure everything is matched up. So let me just check. This is the front of the dress. This is the back of the dress. We're going to take and cut like this in the end. Um, first I'm going to chop off a whole bunch and then we're going to make sure it's angled a little bit just so we can do the high-low. What I'm thinking is if we do the high-low, we can use the fabric that I got and we can use it as a drape as the low part and we can repurpose the uh, silk, oh goodness, the silk part to be in the front, to be like a fashion statement. Have a couple colors going on. I know that this is pink. Um, most of my pink thread is like really neon pink. That won't go. I have white. White's always okay. But I have this silver. It's pretty awesome. We might have to go with silver. Don't know yet. Let's start cutting. Couple seconds for you, but a day for me. We're back at the project. I finished cutting off the bottom of the dress. Um, right now, we are going to maybe measure and fit the flare to it, the high-low part of the dress. Okay, so this is the fabric that I got from the thrift store. It's an absolutely beautiful drapey fabric. So what I was thinking, I know it's a different kind of pink, but we can do it multiple colors of pink. So we have the nude pink, we have this pink. Um, if you haven't watched my other video, go and watch it. It's where I tried on this beautiful other vintage dress. I'm thinking that we should take it and it's also, this was the first dress I tried on. It was a little bit of a high and low. If I take and chop off the whole or seam rip the whole bottom off, 
we can actually use it for the bottom of this dress also. I know there's lace, but why not? So what I'm going to do is get it all situated and then I'll show you when it's complete. Okay, so we have it all pinned together. We have the beautiful bodice piece. We have the beautiful uh, thrift store fabric we got. Uh, if we come over here, we've got the train looking amazing. Mannequin is a little bit big for the dress. I never thought that would be over. That took forever. Okay, so I have everything uh, hemmed with just the straight stitch, just because I don't, I don't have enough nerves to bring out this serger, okay? I'm sorry. If I get enough comments, I will. I will learn. <laughs> okay, so, I do still have to go up back around and cut off all of the stuff that a serger would have done for me, but let's get it in perspective. Okay, in perspective, we have this beautiful sleeve. It's not on yet. We have this that needs to be uh, glued and just uh, straight stitched. And then we have the beautiful bottom. We have lace, we've got the beautiful flowy fabric from the thrift store. We've got it hemmed. It doesn't look the best hemmed, but that's what a, a, just a regular sewing machine is gonna do for you. But it looks beautiful. I can't wait to get the top done and then we're gonna try it on. Okay, let's do the top. Yeah, making that one side the no sleeve shoulder. I'm going to just be rounding it and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be using some fabric fusion and my scissors and some pins just to hold it in place until the glue dries. Okay, let's go. Okay, while that dries, we're just going to stitch on the sleeve and then see how dry this is 
see if we can take the pins out. And then we are going to probably start uh, stitching along the top bodice line just to match the bottom stitch. It's focusing. I'm not sure if it's focusing. Bottom stitch. I did choose silver as the thread, which I'm pretty proud of. It looks glamorous on this gown. Um, okay, let's start stitching on the sleeve. Okay, first what we need to do is actually stitch first then do the sleeve because if I were to do it differently the sleeve would get over stitched if that makes sense it wouldn't look good so let's do it this way we'll just start from this side and go the other side that's glued so we don't run into an issue Okay, time to work on the sleeve. Super excited to show you all. This is it all together. I am going to model it at the end, so make sure you stay until the very end. But here is it all together. We have a beautiful high and low. We have the lace in there also. We have a beautiful corset from that one dress. We have a beautiful little sleeve. Okay guys, let's try it on! Hey guys, I hope you liked me trying on my vintage upcycled dress or revamped dress. Uh, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Um, make sure you comment on what I should do next. Maybe revamping another dress. Who knows? Until next time. <laughs>